Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, new AMD cards are probably coming soon in May and some YouTubers trying to predict the price, performance and how they're gonna stack comparing to Nvidia. And I've got Moore's Law is Dead showing the slide from AMD itself. This is like a bragging uh, slide where AMD is bragging how much VRAM they offer comparing to Nvidia at a lower price. He's using this slide to predict that 7800 if that card is coming uh, and hopefully having 16 gigabytes of VRAM because it would be silly if they brag in about 16 gigabytes and then offering less. So hopefully all the cards will have 16 gigabytes. And he predicted that 7,800 would replace these two cards and 7,700 would replace this card. However, the thing for AMD is these cards would compete not only with Nvidia cards, but also with AMD cards. And they don't have any new tech. They don't have frame generation like AMD. And definitely they don't have mind share of NVIDIA because most people go with NVIDIA no matter what. The market share of AMD cards is very small. So how they want to take that market share if people don't care that much about AMD? And Moore's Law is that predicting that hopefully AMD won't do anything stupid and don't, won't go with these prices here, which, which are very possible. But he says that will be a missed opportunity, which I agree. And he's saying that these prices would be much better, which obviously are better prices. But is it going to be enough? Because I've checked what people are actually buying at the moment, just without predicting, but actually checking what people do with their money. And what people buying is 3060, a little bit 3060 Ti, 4070. And that's what people are buying. And they don't care that much about AMD. That's how much people are willing to spend, like 400, 300 pounds. That's the, the price they're willing to spend and they go green. And in United Kingdom, it's even worse for AMD. People going with uh, Nvidia really. AMD is lower, lower there. So everybody is buying Nvidia. Nobody cares about AMD. So what AMD can do to take some market share from Nvidia, they don't offer DLSS. They don't offer frame generation. They don't have mind share. They have bad stigma of their drivers, which I think is not true anymore. They have quite good drivers, if not better than Nvidia at the moment. Nvidia has some problems with their drivers. So what are they going to do? And I think there is a chance because game developers are switching to new generation of consoles and the new consoles have quite strong CPUs, way stronger than PlayStation 4. And if you want to game on PC, you need stronger CPU than that. So games becoming very CPU limited, the recent release, they have a reputation of being very badly optimized, but that's the reality, guys. Uh, the games will require a lot of CPU power because of the new console. Even this little guy has eight core CPU. So on PC, if you want to play at 60 FPS or more, you need very strong CPU. And what's happening, that's very, actually that's very bad news for Nvidia because um, Nvidia has what is called driver CPU overhead. And what that means that Nvidia drivers use CPU power to operate. They don't do everything on the GPU like AMD. So when you, when you are CPU limited, AMD cards can perform better than Nvidia. They have, they losing all the advantage. And look at this, you know, even these weaker cards are winning with 4090, which is crazy. That's, that's what happening when you are CPU limited. And that's becoming a trend. That's not like an exception because nobody cares about this game, but people care about Jedi Survivor. And there is also a big win for, for Team Red. And that's the performance people care. People care about 1080p and 1440p and less so about uh, 4K and this big boy here. Yeah, that's a very power, uh, powerful card, but if you don't have 4K display, there is no advantage. It's actually disadvantage to paying this kind of money for that card when this card for half the price can win. Can win. And people play multiplayer games. And this popular game also is a very big win for AMD. So maybe the market is shifting. Maybe people start talking about AMD and now they have their chance because people are really against Nvidia now. They see how greedy they are. They're not happy with the prices. They're not happy how little 
performance uplift you get from Nvidia and how weak the new cards, how cut down they are on the lower stack. Only 4090 is amazing, but all the rest are pretty bad actually. And also developers itself kind of switching to AMD because all the consoles are based on AMD, AMD CPU, AMD GPU, and consoles support FSR. They don't support DLSS. And AMD also sponsored those games. So we have situations like with Jedi Survival, like this one, you know, op uh, offering FSR only, no DLSS. You have Resident Evil 4, FSR, no DLSS. And there is more games like that, like Wild Hearts, FSR, no DLSS. And there is small down the stack as well, because you cannot use DLSS on consoles. You cannot DLSS on mobile. So even if FSR is worse technology at the moment, uh, developers may choose it because they can use it everywhere. And uh, using DLSS, DLSS is actually extra cost for them. So even if it's a better technology at the moment, uh, they may lose to AMD. So that will be interesting to watch. Hopefully AMD will take some market share because it will be good for everybody. Hopefully Intel as well. Ideally, we have free those brands fighting with each other for our money. So they will have equal part of market share. But let's see, you know, you have NVIDIA, which is called NGRIDIA, and you have AMD, what people say that stands for always massive disappointment. And I hope they won't disappoint this time. Thanks for watching.